All right, welcome back. This is another debunking a mysterious rule. Um, in this case, Descartes' rule of signs, which tells us that our number of possible positive zeros, now that's kind of odd, positive zeros, what do you mean positive zeros? That means zeros that are located to the right of zero. In other words, if I have a graph that goes through this point, that's a possible, or that would be a positive zero. So the number of zeros that I have to the right of the y-axis is equal to the number of sign changes in the polynomial. So we start positive, go negative, there's one, turn back to positive, two sign changes. And it says the number of possible positive zeros is either that number or that number minus any even number. So if I had seven of these, there would be seven or five or three or one positive zeros. In this case, two or zero. And the number of negative, to find the number of negatives, we find what f negative x is. Now, this should make absolutely perfect sense if you really got a good grasp on some of the topics we discovered. Because what does putting negative x in do to a graph? That negative is a pre-function. It affects the time. In other words, it affects our right-left direction. So what used to be to the right is now to the left. So any, any zeros that I had to the left or negative zeros would now be flipped to the right. So let's put in negative x. And when I put in negative x to x cubed, I get negative x cubed. The negative three negatives produce a positive. When I put negative x in here, though, I get negative x squared, positive x squared times negative 2, minus 2x squared. When I put negative x in here, I get minus 5x. And when I put negative x in for 3, I don't. I get plus 3. So here we see we have just one change. Therefore, our number of possible negative zeros is exactly one. Okay, so where's the debunking? That's not. It's a pretty easy rule to apply, but let's talk about this in terms of what we've done with sprinters, intermediate runners, and distance runners. We know that this graph starts up three. Okay, we know that it's going to try to act like a line with positive slope as it's going through there. Pos positive slope of five. Then I know it's going to try to look like an upside down parabola. So this side is curving down. And this side is curving more down. What I don't know, ultimately I do know this, it's trying to go up and down. So the next thing that's going to happen to the left is this is just going to be reinforced down. Therefore, that absolutely convinces me of that. But what I don't know is... As this parabola, this is trying to take us down over here, how far down does it go? Does it just go down here before it gives way to the x to the third? Does it come down here and touch? Or is it strong enough that it comes down here? If A, it gives way, then I have zero positive zeros. If it's strong enough, if the negative 2x squared is strong enough to bring us below, then we've got two zeros. What about if it touches? Is that one zero? That is really considered multiplicity two, so that would be two zeros as well. So there we have it. By sprinters, intermediate distance runners, we've come up with, we expect there to either be two zeros over here, or perhaps no zeros if the x cubed beats the negative 2x squared before the negative 2x squared pulls it down. And no doubt we have one to the left. Everything about the left side of this is pulling this graph down. So let's do the same thing with a more complicated function, only let's do it backwards this time. In other words, let's go ahead, sprinters, intermediate runners, distance runners. Here I start at 3. I'm going down pretty steeply. I suspect that probably gets below zero, but along the way it's trying to act like a positive parabola. So 
What I don't know, before it starts to act like a cubic, it wants to act like a positive parabola. What I don't know is as it's acting like this positive parabola they're trying to open up, does the minus 8x have enough energy to get us down to zero? It might. And then it's going to continue along that path, whichever one it chooses, as a positive parabola, turning into a positive cubic, still wanting to go up, before it becomes a negative to the fourth. A negative to the fourth is going to try to start to bring that guy down. What I don't know is, is it going to bring it down far enough, or will it lose out to the ultimate positive to the fifth? Kind of strange. So what I have is, is the minus 8x strong enough to pick me up zeros? If it is, it's going to get me two of them. And then later on, I've got this minus x to the fourth pulling down. Is it strong enough to get us down here before ultimately we head up? So maybe I pick up two zeros here and maybe two zeros there. I might have four zeros, four positives. Let's, let me put these over here. Here's our possible positive zeros. I may have four, but maybe this doesn't make it down here, and I only have the first two, and maybe those don't make it down, and I have zero. Or maybe these don't get down there and these do. I would have two. What's happening to the left now? To the left, let's back it up here. I'm at three. This thing wants to go up like a positive parabola. It's getting pretty steep over here. Then it wants to look like this positive cubic, which wants to fall as we go to the left. So this is going to start bringing this guy back down. Now the question is, how far down is it going to bring us? Well, look at the negative x to the fourth. It wants to bring it down too. And the positive x to the fifth, it wants to bring it down. So everything after this 5x squared is trying to bring this down. So it's going to go up, but eventually everything's reinforcing down. Once again, negative zeros. I'm claiming we have exactly one. Okay, so let's take a look at Descartes' rule here. How many sign changes do we have here? We go from positive to negative, one, to positive, two, stay positive, still have two, to negative, three, to positive, four. Descartes' rule says we have four or two or zero. How about f negative x? f negative x, this would be negative x to the fifth. If I put a negative x in here, the negative gets absorbed, minus x to the fourth. Negative x here, minus 4x cubed. Negative x gets absorbed, plus 5x squared. Negative x makes this plus 8x, plus 3. One sign change right here, one negative. I wonder if Descartes was on to this sprinters, intermediate runners, distance runners. So... Pretty cool that we can make some connections with some things we've done in the past to now. And again, to be honest, in the age of graphing calculators and technology, maybe not the most important rule for us because we can see this. However, if we're searching for zeros and we have some massively huge graph, it would be comfortable to know, let's say we're searching for zeros and we found three positives, it would be comfortable it would be comforting to know okay it's worth my, my while to find a fourth zero because there cannot be three positive zeros so little debunking of descartes rule i uh, hope you enjoyed that um, who knows extra credit opportunities um, we will see you later